Prince Charles wants to throw alleged teen rip man slave offender Andrew out of the royal family but Queen refuses. Prince Andrew and Prince Charles are reportedly embroiled in the biggest feud of their lives, and because one of them is the crown prince and the other is the princess brother, things are about get real ugly. Their relationship was reportedly always strained, but things got significantly worse after Prince Andrew's sex scandal came out earlier last month, causing the relationship between the two brothers to reach a tipping point. A long article from the Daily Mail goes into the details regarding the relationship, focusing on how Prince Charles didn't invite Prince Andrew to his 66th birthday party, even though the party was held at Buckingham Palace and Andrew was near the venue at the time. Plus, Charles has reportedly cut the majority of his contact with Andrew after the sex scandal came out, understandably so. It is one thing for Prince Andrew to be involved in a scandal of this level. But for Charles to get personally involved in it or seen showing any form of sympathy towards his brother? The press was already having a field day with the story, but if Charles had gotten involved, it would have reached Difkin 1 at the palace press office. Several family friends have confirmed the feud, explaining, I was told never to mention Andrew's name in the Prince of Wales's company. This is no brotherly spat. It is a seismic shift downhill in Charles's relationship with his errant brother which seems terminal. Andrew is having to live with the harsh reality that Charles has cut him off and left him out in the cold. Plus, these sources also add, Charles has very serious concerns about Andrew. He can see illegal fees going through the roof, there is a serious risk of Andrew becoming involved in a court case, and unanswered questions about his friendship with Epstein and this girl. Then there is the fact that Andrew is still living with his ex-wife and has just bought a very expensive ski chalet with her. Charles thinks Andrew is making a fool of himself where Sarah is concerned. Apparently, Charles knows that Queen Elizabeth won't he cut off her second son no matter what he gets himself into, so 